previously on the Höge Kustenleiden. This stage lived up to its promise as the embodiment of what the high coast will represents. It offered a unique blend of idyllic cabins, serene forests and rugged coastlines. In eight episodes we are taking you along this beautiful trail. We are hiking through deep forests and mountaintop viewpoints, passing beautiful lakes that you only see in Sweden and sleeping in beautiful places along the way. Nowhere else in Sweden can you hike at these heights so close to the sea. Welcome to the Höga Kustenleden. Good morning. Good morning. It's almost the last day. We have 33 more kilometers to go and we decided to split it in half, right? Yeah, that's true because uh, today it's still pretty good weather, the sun is shining, but tomorrow probably it's gonna rain again. In the end, we have two options. There is a tent site, I think in about 15 kilometers or 18 kilometers, not sure. And a little bit after that is a cabin option. And if we're too early at the tent site and we still have some sunny weather, we'll push forward towards the cabin. Woohoo, we 
we made it after a very long and pretty exhausting day to be honest we made it and when we arrived at the original campsite it was way too early right yeah it was way too early and uh we read the signs about the cabin up and it's supposed to be a beautiful view so we were like okay let's push it forward and let's go to the cabin the view from this cabin is amazing and one thing we can see the famous bridge over here where this trail finishes so we have one more day tomorrow and i think it's about 12 kilometers so a very short day now we're gonna build a fire make some dinner and have a good night of sleep On the last episode of the Heuga Kustelede series, we will begin our misty morning at the top of Valkallen. After a steep and slippery descent, we'll enter the final stretch of lush forest before catching our first glimpse of the famous High Coast Bridge, the finish line of this amazing trail. 